Hi everyone, I'm God called Quincy and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you guys a very detailed and beginner friendly tutorial on how I achieve this braidless crochet hair. So guys, if you want to see a very detailed and beginner friendly tutorial on how I achieve this braidless crochet hair, keep watching. Please don't forget to like my video, comment, share, follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat and Twitter. The link will be in the description, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, having said that, let's get started the first thing i'm going to do is to comb out my natural hair and then with a fish check comb i'm going to go ahead to section out my hair as you guys can see i was just trying to like section it out to see what works for me and as well because i have my hair roots are very short okay so it's so hard for me to you know for me for me to braid up my hair i have to like do a little bit of a corn roll okay in order to hold on the root of my hair just to secure it for this braidless crochet hair and as you guys can see i went ahead like braiding down my hair from the front to the back after that i went ahead section another part of my hair in the front as you all can see i sectioned it out and i braided it a little and i converted it a little then braided it up like i showed you guys this is to ensure that my hair roots are secured okay you don't need to do this if your hair okay if your hair lengths are the same all you need just all you need to do is just to like braid it up straight you don't need to like try to control it to secure it so y'all yeah, i want you guys to let me know in the comment section what hair product i should try in order to make sure that my hair grows out perfectly as you guys can see my hair seems a little bit damaged also um, the root part of it and as well the length okay i just need to grow out my hair a little bit perfectly but not too natural you know so babes after i braided off the rest of part the rest part of my hair babes when i got to the back what i did was i just grabbed the remaining the rest of my hair and then try to braid it up as you guys can see here okay this is literally this is literally how i prep my hair for this braidless crochet hair okay and after braiding it off okay i took the whole hair i was able to braid and then secured it into one and then put it into one braid as you guys can see So babes, after that, with this fishnet wig cap or fishnet cap, okay, I just, I went ahead to put on this fishnet cap, okay, in order to secure my hair properly and as well in order for it to make it easy for me to crochet the weightless crochet okay. hair, okay. So base for the crochet braids I'm making is of making is of this crochet braids from Beauty Beyond store. Okay, I, I got it off Amazon. They sent me these products okay for review. This company sells on Amazon. Okay, I'm going to put the link in the description in case you want this as a crochet braids to check it out. And I have an old one I use for a ponytail, okay. So I'm going to make use of it. This is in total three packs, okay, in order to achieve this braidless crochet hair so babe, the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to we are going to start off to crochet the hair what we need to do is we need to pass the crochet braid okay through the feet through the fishnet car and then through my hair then we are going to place the crochet braid on top okay and then close it bring it out and we're going to make a knot okay this is literally how you crochet a normal hair okay and then i we started off at the back in order to crochet this hair i 
And so, babes, I okay. You don't need to worry. All you need to do for the beginners, okay. All you need to do is okay. You're going to pass the lash hook or crochet hook through your hair or through the cap. It will come out. Then you're going to place your crochet braids, okay. Close the hook, bring it out, pull it out, twist it, and then you're going to make a knot, okay. And yes, guys, for beginners, okay, you might be wondering how you are able to crochet your the back of your hair. What you need to do is you need to follow your sense of touch, okay? That is literally what I do, okay? Because I don't have mirror, I, there is no mirror at the back where I'm seeing my back also. All I need to do, I just need to like use my sense of touch with my hands, go around touching and feeling and knowing where I have to, you know, crochet or not. But anyway, in case you over crochet, you don't need to worry because you know, at the back, your hair will be able to cover it, and as well, you, you as well have to space the back. But for me, I didn't space the back because I wanted this crochet, braidless crochet hair to be full. And so, babes, I went ahead doing the normal crochet hair. So, coming to the front part, I literally do the same thing, okay. Just need to like crochet like normal crocheting of your hair but then when it comes to the, the front lace as you guys can see okay i was able to pass the net through the front of my hair okay underneath the lace and then bring it out and uh, yes guys that is it and as well it took me i'm um, okay i this literally took me like less than one hour to finish crocheting okay after prepping my hair it took me like one hour to finish it off so base in case you're wondering why the temperature of my video is changing this is as a result of i am um, my white balance is on auto okay and then i was literally i never knew that it was on auto but right now i fixed it and i've been and um, have chosen it to be on custom okay on custom white balance that is literally why my color is changing the color of this video will be changing but that's okay going back to the braidless crochet hair we are going to keep on crocheting the hair like usual like normal also guys in case you're wondering the setup i use in order to achieve this video i'm going to put a link to it i have an amazon store guys and yes guys you can see all the equipment i use in order to film this video the backdrop my camera And so basically, I literally went ahead crocheting the hair like normal. when it comes to the front i was able to um crochet the front part of my hair as you guys can see my hair there are very short okay got caught as a result i was doing too much to my hair but that's okay as you guys can see how i'm crocheting the hair okay i was i covered the band as you guys can see there how i was able to cover it up and yes guys you guys remember we have like a center we patched like a center part at the center of the hair okay we are as well going to like not crochet at the center of the pattern okay okay this will ensure that after crocheting your hair what you're going to do is uh, with a scissors you're going to like cut it out okay this is like we give you like a center part in case you want to in case you love to create like a center part with less crochet hair And so babes, that is it with the crocheting of the hair. Now that I'm done with crocheting the hair, I'm going to like try to like style my hair. The first product I use is this olive oil, okay? I'm going to go ahead to like apply some olive oil to my hair. This is my hair oil in order to add shine to the crochet braids. So 
so many things. I made sure I was able to like apply the olive oil all over the crochet braids and my the front part of my natural hair. And then with this Gatsby styling hard mules. Okay, guys, this is like the styling for boy as like a hair mules. I'm going to go ahead to shake it out. Okay, shake it, then point on my head to then apply it on my hair this will ensure that the coil doesn't lose okay because we all know that this is synthetic hair and then synthetic hair spoils within a week or so but if you would love to carry your hair more than one week or so or in order to secure the coils you literally need to go ahead and apply a hair mousse trust me with this hair mousse your hair is going nowhere the coils are going nowhere okay and then after applying the hair mules i'll go ahead to apply this hair gel to the front of foot i'll go ahead to apply this hair gel to the front part of my hair in order to lay my baby hair okay or the front or my front edges that are very short okay So guys, after applying the hair gel with this hairspray, this is an aromatic hairspray, I went ahead to like spray it all over my hair, also to secure the coils and as well, I was able to lay my baby hair in order to secure my baby hair as well. It's like a normal hairspray, had normal hairspray. And then I tied it up in order to allow the coils of the my baby hair to dry and went ahead to do my makeup so guys that is it on how we are able to achieve this braidless easy and simple beginner friendly braidless crochet hair thank you so much babes for watching my video please don't forget to like comment share follow me on my instagram facebook snapchat and twitter as you guys can see the hair turned out so cute and i was so excited please guys don't forget to share my video i love you guys see you guys in my next video bye bye let me know in the comment section what you think about this hair